hello everyone welcome back to our war on the sea let's play series as the u.s naval forces this could possibly actually be the final episode of the series um that would be denoted in the title of course um if not then it will be the penultimate episode i'm afraid because we are very very close to actually taking guadalcanal the only roadblock unfortunately is a big yamato roadblock now and this task force that we see here, our North Carolina task force, is going to be the more immediate um, surface engagement um, to take on the Yamaso. And you know what? That's not great. You know why? Because I've been resting on my laurels, expecting the uh, IGN to remain as quiet as ever as they have been in the previous few videos. So um, after one or two service engagements with this, I've not bothered to actually uh, resupply fully. You can see we've got limited ammo on our North Carolina's main guns here with only really 656 um, AP shells left. How are we going with the uh, 340 um, on the um, Canberra or Australia over here rather? San Diego should be okay for HE really, yeah, absolutely fine on that. Philadelphia should be okay as well. Uh, only really a few AP shells there. So this is going to be tough. It's going to be a very tough fight ahead of us. Let's go straight over to the map over here. We have just loaded in the game so we can see that pesky uh, one submarine the enemy has left actually. Uh, to remind ourselves of how exactly the fight is going on Guadalcanal um, should certainly be ours in a couple of days time. That's not a problem at all. So we are looking at actually bringing over some um, engineering or so but we're going to hold off for now because of course we do have that Yamaso over here and I am half expecting to take heavy losses here um, because of our ammo situation and we do have a little bit of damage on a few ships here minor damage generally that Benson's not looking great because it did take some damage um, in a previous engagement I think in the previous episode it was um, so I'm very much regressing not spending any of my masses of command points on perhaps an Illinois or two uh, to replace anything here. Um, if I do that now, it's just not going to get it's not going to get here in time to deal with that Yamato, unfortunately, uh, unless that decides to just mill about over here. Do of course have the Essex, and that's going to be our trump card. The only thing we're missing is two Corsairs on that. Um, we're going to try, I think, and go into fighting the Yamaso mm, with only what do we have here a Havocs and Lightnings are still over here we've got two Lightnings and our Havocs we have three perhaps we want to launch some Lightnings here with some rockets to help deal with some destroyers perhaps um, but otherwise I'm going to make this a pure surface engagement um, if we lose if we do lose everything or have to retreat then the Essex is there to absolutely whack the Yamato task force into the dirt. Um, we will be <laughs> very merciless in that regard. Um, so ultimately, I'm confident we'll win. But as far as a surface engagement is concerned, that could go either way. So we are coming in um, towards Guadalcanal as quickly as possible. Iowa is coming in as well. How long is that going to take? That's going to take uh, 10 hours. Um, unfortunately, our standard battleships over here with the Kearsarge um, how long actually? I'll take the Kearsarge out. That should be a bit quicker. Uh, still going to take uh, close to 20 hours there, so it's just not worth um, bringing that by itself. I thought I pressed merge groups there. Um, so yeah, that's going to take a whole 25 hours otherwise to get over here. Uh, so we've made a few mistakes by resting on our laurels, but it's absolutely fine. Uh, need a bit of spice towards the end of the campaign. Um, but so far, that is uh, all we have to deal with. Do you see, of course, the usual uh, stuff which we've not bothered dealing with. It is only minor, these things over here. So, let's carry on, see what we can do about his Yamato. Okay, so as an update, Yamato seems to be going actually over in this direction. So, what that means is we could well have a surface engagement actually with this group over here. Um, that's seeming to be more likely. This is uh, four possible ships over here. We can't launch anything to do with that. They're not bothering though the Shortland Islands. Um, I would like to have another destroyer here. Um, so what I'm going to do is take, actually, we've got three destroyers here because the Wasp is actually in the dockyard. Um, so we could bring up at least the Mayrant. I forget exactly what sort of uh, destroyer this is. Um, so we can bring these up. 
making help in just a second. And in fact, I'm quite likely uh, expecting to uh, be intercepted by the sub, so these destroyers will help. Either way, um, buying anything new is not going to come up in time. Uh, let's just double check how long the wasp is in the dockyard for. It was two weeks in total. We have five more days. So uh, we shall see about that. Having now known that the Yamato is retreating, though, we are going to still bring up our engineering over here to uh, Guadalcanal. So let's do that. And yeah, let's uh, just carry on, see where this goes. So it's going to be night time fairly soon. It looks like it's coming over here, doesn't it? Uh, we're making a massive mistake by not launching any uh, Scouse aircraft here. So have a look at that. Should absolutely be our priority there. Okay, we'll do that in a sort of formation like that. Um, we've got more endurance than I thought we would on there. That's absolutely fine. We can just launch even more. Uh, let's go. This one can focus short range and then expand out, I think. Widen that over there and it can come back round on itself like that. And we can launch a few more. We can launch from the Arizona, of course, once again. And uh, we can launch out a bit wider over here, I think, like that. So I get the feeling the Yamaso, while it's pushing in, see what that does. Let's carry on. Oi. This is very much likely to be, what, what could this be? get the feeling this is going to be a sub to so slow down but we will turn on the radars of yeah everything else they will turn off the radars of our destroyers there because it's going to get in the way with our sonar contacts I think make sure that's fine slow down see what happens there might just be a single destroyer yep that seems to be the case and I think we'll leave that alone actually if that's going to be the case. We want to make sure our ammo stock is absolutely fine for Yamaso. So let's carry on and leave that alone and just keep going I think. Okay guys, um, I think we've just engaged the Yamaso. Um, of course we have this encounter to uh, deal with. Did I was zooming across at full speed um, and I saw the Yamato Task Force just zoom right up to us. We could be right on top of this. We could be sub 15 kilometers um, towards this. I have changed um, our formation to a battle line here. I've moved a few things around. Uh, we'll see exactly how that looks in just a second. Um, Hellcats should be about over here. We did launch those thinking um, uh, it might come over to us very quickly, but I forgot to attach them specifically to our group over here. So they should be about just a bit distance. They are armed with Tiny Tim rockets, um, perhaps to look at a heavy cruiser. So let's go in, see what we've got. Um, what we're going to do uh, as preparation is take off fire at will. Going to slow down a tad. And just in case there is a submarine, we're going to turn on any possible sonar. We're also going to turn on our... Um, main um, radars over here with our battleships and our New Orleans and we're gonna go in and pray that uh, we're not too bad with this Yamaso group can't oh we can oh dear well, it looks like we're on their flank let's increase our speed to max we're going to turn and we're going to make sure everyone's uh, radar is actually on uh, let's go to level X. Yep, that's absolutely on. Excellent stuff. So let's give us a second. We're on their flank, which is excellent for us. Oh, that's brilliant. That's actually brilliant. And we're going to hit hard with our Hellcats onto, I think, the Miyoko over here. Um, so let's just sort that out very quickly first. We can use the Hellcats actually to identify um, the ships over here. So, I'm actually trembling. I'm actually trembling. I'm so excited. You wouldn't believe it. Um, let's go in as quickly as possible. Um, it goes to about 160-ish. Um, and we want to target the number three, you fool. And we'll identify this as Miyoko accordingly. Go, where are we? Miyoko, there we go. And we will identify Yamato, of course, the mighty one. Oh, 
Oh, and you know what? I'm actually feeling a lot more confident now that we have three battleships in this particular group. And you know what? They've had barely any use, haven't they, throughout this series? They've done a little bit of uh, escorting, um, but they've had no genuinely large surface engagements. So this is going to be it. Absolutely going to be it. Let's try and uh, identify these destroyers, shall we? Shall we go for a uh, Yugamo to begin with? Should still have a lot of those about. Um, what we'll have here is actually a Shiratsu. Uh, so let's go over to that. Uh, this one is possibly... Yugmo Kagero sort of thing again. We'll go for a Kagero to begin with over there. We have dealt actually with quite a few of those. Um, go over here. This was a Furbiki. Go for that. And we will identify this as Furbiki as well, I think. There we go. Yeah, that is a Furbiki. Cool. Um, they're already firing at us. Absolutely fine. I am expecting losses still, but I am feeling better about the possible outcome. Um, interesting that they're not beelining towards Guadalcanal. Very strange indeed, but you know what? I'll absolutely take it. Absolutely take it. I don't know why I'm targeting Yukimo there again. I do want uh, Miyoko. Uh, let's go over here. And then we can actually use the Hellcats if uh, a lot of them survive. <laughs> I doubt it though. Um, to go and try and strafe down some of the destroyers. Now, you may think absolutely stupid to go for the heavy cruisers rather than Yamaso, but like I say, we do have three um, very nice um, battleships to deal with that. So, we're going to turn around. Luckily, we are on their flank, like we said, so that's a very nice uh, T to cross there. Let's go narrow here, get some shells out there. Arizona, it's your time to shine, mate. Do not, do not explode horribly on me today, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Although you will be forgiven since you are being shot at by Yamaso. In fact, I'm expecting someone, one of these battleships to go down. Very much expecting that. Uh, New Orleans actually can fire onto Cal, um, since we are hoping to down this Miyoko fairly quickly. Uh, Levelette can actually fire on Shiratsu over here. Uh, like so, we're going to focus fire on a lot of these, I think. Uh, let's get that. Canberra can help out against the Cal. Uh, AP, thank you. Uh, we have recently resupplied, I think, with this group, so we should be okay there. Um, Juno can actually go for Kagero over here. We go HE, thank you. And a Bannon. You know what? You can help out on Kagero, but first I want you to fire out some spotting shells because it is fairly dark. Uh, we have 49% visibility, and Mayrant uh, we brought over from our Wasp. And that is actually going to help fire on Kagero once again. That's going to go HE uh, narrow there like that. So let's get started, shall we? Let's ruddy bloody get started. Oh dearie dearie dear. Oh dearie dearie dear. Yamato is already fine with its rear gun. Oh, <laughs> a battle for our lives, I think this is. <laughs> We're already getting some near misses against that Yamaso. We're not going to waste around and hold fire today, I don't think. We just need to get this down. We are making some decent hits there, actually. Very nice hits, indeed. And we are getting some nice star shells. Oh, that was with... Was it O'Bannon or Mayrants? That was with O'Bannon. Let's start firing out with HE there. And how are our Hellcats doing? Coming in fairly close. A little close would be ideal, of course. We are turning around to cross their rear T. Excellent stuff. We have a 90% solution already on uh, Yamaso there, which is excellent stuff. That is going to hurt, but we need to make sure we're giving off um, orders to hit this Miyoko. So let's go and do that right now. Uh, it's not giving the best angle to attack there, but if we spend any more time maneuvering, then we will just be giving them more time to shoot at us, of course, even though we are coming in from um, their broadside. Not ideal, of course. Taking a lot of hits is this destroyer as well, actually. That might be going down soon. How are our Hellcats doing? Losing one or two. Ah, it was a really bad first hit, and the camera's snapping. Can't see what I'm doing there. Keep going. Mm. Getting a few hits there. It's nearly all of them, actually, and that is not the best. Yeah, really no hits at all there. Let's take a quick report on that. Um, where are we? Takao. Takao's actually taken more damage than Miyoka, so that's absolutely fine. Kagero is on critical damage. 
let's just take these Hellcats, form them up, bring them out very quickly to very quickly recover. And what they can do is come back to strafe something uh, later on. How are we looking with our own formation? We're in quite the mess with this, actually. We are turning far too much, that's why. What we're going to do is uh, give that a genuine waypoint to go over here. Neglected that. So that is my fault completely. Marion's and Kearsarge are taking quite a bit of damage. Kearsarge definitely under the cost from uh, fire from Yamato. Gonna try and get everything onto fires and flooding there. Uh, do the same with Marion's, I think. Can we get any uh, torpedoes off, actually? While I think about it. Um, which torpedo side? I think it's a port side there. Let's see if we can fire there. Uh, go for a two degree spread to begin with, but I'm not sure that's actually going to fire off too well there. That's like Yamato looking, actually. Still looking good. Kagero sinking. Who was firing at that? I believe that was Obanim Mirrors and stuff, wasn't it? Uh, let's have a look. It was indeed. Um, how's Shiratsu looking? Not great, but we're actually going to go for the Fubuki here, um, like so. You're going to fire off uh, actually more star shells over here very quickly. Uh, Mayrant's not looking great, so that's going to go down, but it can still keep trying to fire, I think, uh, over here. Has actually lost one of its four guns. Uh, Juno would have been the one doing a lot of damage over here. Let's get it on Fubuki, and that should do that very nicely. Uh, Kagero, yeah, number four, the downed one has suffered a posthumous magazine explosion, that's fine. Could guess a small collision over here, but nothing too bad. Uh, might not even quite get that. It's not quite close enough to get some friendly fire on the Yamato, so is it? <laughs> How's the cow looking? Uh, not too great, but uh, you know, better than I think our Mayrans, of course. Kearsarge isn't doing too well either. I think that's certainly the one under uh, focus fire from Yamato and such there. That's okay. Absolutely fine. How are our Hellcats doing? Did they form up? No, no we didn't actually tell them for some reason. No worries. Let's carry on do that. Uh, there's only a few of them, but we are still going to try and utilize them. Come back down here, needs a better visual over here, I think. Oh, not helping our mayor there, but is not able to move so much. Oh, we're getting collision over here. Let's break, uh, stop with this. And yeah, this is not looking good at all. Break, slow down your speed and try and actually just go straight ish out of here. Really harming ourselves here, actually. It's very, really not managed at all well. <laughs> Um, who was firing the star shells? Let's get you back on HE. Yamato's uh, got a few fires and a very nice list on it, actually. That's very, very good indeed. That's very, very nice indeed. Thank you very much. New Mexico's taking a flood. That's because we are actually just going straight into the Mayrant here. Um, let's break off here, increase speed over here, and just turn out, I think. With that, so that's really not helping us at all. Let's take a quick damage report here. Let's go over to get some. Uh, yeah, we're hampering ourselves more than the enemy is actually hampering us there. Get those in. Okay, what we need to do is actually just break off and make things uh, act independently here, I think. If we do New Mexico, just turn out like this actually. Level X, if you carry on, increase your speed, thank you. Nicholas not looking great because of our own mismanagement there. Very, very messy indeed. Very, very messy indeed. Uh, let's take a quick action report on everything. Uh, critical to heavy on Yamaso, critical to heavy on Fubuki, Shiraxu is not looking great, Takao could be looking better as well. Um, okay, we've done more damage I think to our uh, New Mexico than anyone else. <laughs> this is really bad showing. <laughs> really bad indeed. Let's see if we can just get these off. This is really not helping at all. Get some smoke up from these ships, actually. Yeah, 
Yeah, that's a horrible. That's clearly under fire from Yamaso. Gonna lose this, I think. Hmm. Looks like we've disabled a couple of the guns, unless it's just the really long reload coming in there. How is uh, Kearsarge doing? Might actually want to just get, yeah, the speed is zero. Let's hold fire at the moment there. We can get some manual shots off. We have lost uh, the number three gun there, but it's not due to magazine damage, thank God. What we can do, like I say, is get some manual shots off, shall we? Let's go over here. Um, where's Arizona? How are you doing? You can do the same, I think, if you hold very quickly. And we'll go for manual over here as well. And actually, you can turn around out here like that. And Levelet, I think, actually, we'll get you on some lovely torpedo strikes. Um, how do we want to do that, though? Because you are aiming at the Shiratsu there. Uh, let's get them off at a widespread. Not manually. See how that goes. Get you to fire some star shells out briefly. You got any? That's HE, that's why it's firing them, you silly fool. And the torpedoes we're firing aren't great for us. Looks like we've lost Yeah, our speed is down to eight percent on the New Mexico, so that's just gonna that's gonna go. Turn the O'Bannon round. Takao's really charging in here. Can we do anything about that? Ooh, taking a torpedo on the New Orleans. Did not see that coming in at all. That is horrible. That's absolutely horrible. That's just completely destroyed a few of our components there. I'm surprised I didn't hit anything else actually with how our formation is. So I think we got very lucky with that if you ask me. <laughs> this um, Fubuki is going down. So what we're going to do is take this off of Fubuki and actually target um, to Cal to help out with that. Um, O'Bannon over here can fire on Shratsu. No, maybe it can't because we're getting torpedoes coming in from all angles here. <laughs> um, we need to then, in that, if that's the case, make sure we're not uh, staying stationary over here and actually turn around into this. Um, New Orleans is not going to do very well off of this. How's Yamaso doing though? That is going to go down. <sighs> Where's Miyoko? It's uh, still doing very well. We may have to disengage and finish this off with something else. This is completely my fault. I've really not handled this well at all. I think Yamaso might actually just burn off flood down. It's on critical to critical, so I think I think really get the Arizona to fire out on Miyoko. Um, guessing what to... Shiratsu suffered a magazine explosion. That's excellent. That'll be going down soon then. We'll get some AP out onto the Miyoko then. Um, okay. There is Shiratsu. That is amazing. Uh, we need to figure out who's still firing those um, star shells. I believe... Was, was it Nicholas? No. Who was it? Has no target. Wow, that torpedo has really screwed the Mayrans up. Look at that. Whatever we've done to it has. Uh, was it not level yet? Mm, that's because it's lost all of its star shots. That's fine. Um, let's get that in that case onto the Yugum over here. Uh, we can't because we need to change the director. Let's go like that. Um, a Bannon's going <laughs> to go down. <laughs> Oh dear, how is Takao looking? That is looking rather horrible. Um, not sure we've got many other destroyers to choose from, really. We've done so much uh, damage to them. Where's Nicholas? Yeah, I don't know why that's stationary. That's not a good idea whatsoever. Let's get that on Yugamo then. Like so. How's the Arizona doing? It's got a very nice solution onto that Takao. Yeah, look at those shells coming in there. <laughs> That's got to go down soon. That really has. That must be basically inoperable, actually. We can't see the guns firing, and its speed is slowing down. But having said that, uh, we're firing at the Miyoko, aren't we, with um, 
the arrows are. That's absolutely fine. Let's take. Um, okay, let's take this over to Yugmo. Um, Yamato sinking. Oh, f in the chat, guys. Come on, let's take a quick look. Allow ourselves a quick look at Yamato. That's what victory looks like. And I'll tell you what, if you look at our fleet, it's what a very sour, bittersweet victory looks like. <laughs> so we're going to go for Miyoka with Kearsarge. We've taken a torpedo there as well. Oh my dear lord, Takao's sinking. That torpedo didn't do too much though, did it? Uh, what's the defence then on uh, Kearsarge? It is 85%, fair enough. It was in the midships, so that's uh, the place to take it. Um, Takao's going down, so we're going to change some more targets over to the Miyoka. Uh, here we go. Very disappointed in our original strike on that, but that's okay. Oh, it turns out we are very much like uh, the best type of Mars bar here. Fucking battered. Fucking <laughs> battered. Honestly. But, you know what? It's been... When was the last time in this series we've had such a horrible engagement for ourselves? I can probably bet never. That's a very nice little catch there, isn't it? Um, who's New, New, New Mexico is going for Yamato, wasn't it? That's still operational uh, with one of its front turrets. Um, see, we can't really move with it though. That's the thing. Our rudders and propellers are gone. <laughs> Zero speed. We're not moving with this. Oh dear. Deary dear. Look at that. Look at that. Uh, what can we do over here? Oh, Bannon's going to go down. Uh, Mayrant's how you're looking. You're guessing on the recovery, aren't you? We can't really do much. I want to change something over to the magazine here because that is going to go up otherwise. Um, oh, Bannon's sinking. That's okay. What we're going to do is turn the Nicholas over here. Um, I'll have a let few turn up around here. Um, Arizona, if you give a slightly better broadside, I think, so you can use your guns a tad better. Juno's doing okay. Not the best solution. Let's just fire out a few star shells with our rear turrets then, I think. If we disable those and go out like that. Um, hmm. Kearsarge, how you doing? Miyoko's going at a very, very slow speed indeed. Uh, it might actually try and hold out with these next uh, shots and get some fire at will or fire at Mangley's fired uh, shots on here. We'll finish that off. It is slowing down very, very quickly now. Let's try and go for about here ish. Should be okay there. Yep, yeah, there we go. Those are the back two turrets. How's that looking? Yeah, it has come down to a basically a stop now going at five knots. Very, very nasty indeed. It is taking more shots mm. though to the fronts of the ship. Yeah, look at that. Wow. <laughs> Just wow. <laughs> oh dear. We do not deserve to have won this with the just poor management today. Really, really poor management of this uh, particular fight. How's that Fubuki looking? It's not looking great, is it? How's Yugamo looking? Even worse, it's stationary. Um, who's firing over there? Fubuki's being handled by the Atlanta, that's okay. Uh, Miyoko's sinking, cool. Let's get the Kearsarge then onto Fubuki. Uh, get some HE shells onto there. I guess, of course, it's secondaries on as well. Get the Arizona on to Yugum over here. Uh, of course, secondaries as well. Should be firing HE there. Uh, Yugum is sinking, actually. That's brilliant. So we do only have the Fubuki now. Excellent. Wow. This has been the toughest battle in this series by far. Absolutely. No doubt. Um, you know what? I've been the biggest uh, opponent here. <laughs> I'm actually very surprised I haven't lost the uh, New Mexico here. It's taken absolute battering um, from just being stationary after hitting into the Mayrant. And I'm surprised the Mayrant hasn't gone under just yet either. 
but that will likely be scuttled at the end of uh, the uh, battle here. So how's this uh, Fubiki doing? Fubiki's zone going down. Is that everyone? I believe so. Sunk, 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 sunk. Excellent. Less retreats, finally. You can go home now, guys. So, look at that. Look at that. We're going to send this whole thing back to the dockyard. Absolutely going to send everyone back to the dockyard if possible. Um, doesn't matter too much. We do have the points you bring out to uh, get a bigger task force out. And to be honest, I think we're going to focus the rest of this video on upgrading Guadalcanal to actually get a victory screen. I do want to end it here, guys. But 99,000 tons just in this uh, video, or just in this um, battle sunk with a Yamaso in a surface engagement. We finally made it, guys. We can say this is a, a Yamato sunk <laughs> playthrough, which is exactly what we wanted. So let's go to the cans. Um, and yeah, I think to replace that, just in case something comes out, we're going to make a new sea force. It's not likely going to get any action at all. Absolutely. But we are going to get the Illinois. Uh, that's going to be 120 command points in itself. We're going to get a couple CAs. We're going to get... Um, could get an Alaska, actually. Let's do that. Uh, we're going to get a New Orleans. Uh, we're going to get some DDs, of course. We're going to get, I think, one Benson, a Gleaves, uh, a Marn, and a Porter. It's going to be 209 points. Um... Let's get, we want a light cruiser really, let's get a Cleveland uh, out, let's get a couple of those and that'll do for now, yeah that'll do, cool, excellent, I'm not expecting that to see any uh, action though, um, like I said I do want to focus on Guadalcanal, we just need to wait for that to tick over into uh, becoming ours, we're looking at getting some reinforcements again from Boona over here, let's just pick up over here, don't need to bring in Lowe's but it's just to make sure that does happen. Uh, let's just bring in a couple thousand there and some more supplies would be excellent for us. Uh, let's just do that and we'll take off all of the engineering because we just don't need that and that will help Guadalcanal very nicely. So let's carry on shall we? Well guys here we are finally day 114 and Guadalcanal is now under our control with a little bit of enemy resistance. 20,000.5 troops and 25.9 thousand uh, supplies are on Guadalcanal. Uh, we do have 1.5 thousand engineering there. Just gonna drop off um, some fuel to see if we can start upgrading that. We have uh, stockpiled a bit of fuel on Melissa over here. Just go over there and bring that up. We've got 1.6 thousand over there. So we'll see how uh, that adds up. Uh, just seeing a few encounters go off, that's absolutely fine. See something uh, amassing at Rabul? Uh, might be a bit late though. Might be a bit late for us. Uh, we'll see what happens with that. Um, but let's just drop this fuel off first. Uh, unload all cargo there. Now, how's uh, that looking? It's going to be one airfield, two airfield, and we just need to pick up the Remaining fuel at Melita. We'll do a few um, missions to and from there. So we'll come back with that. Like so. So let's just uh, unload this. We've done two trips backwards and forwards with uh, fuel. Let's see how that adds up for Guadalcanal there. One, two. We do need one more. We do need some engineering and fuel there. That's absolutely fine. Uh, did we bring any up over here? I don't think we did, did we? No, that's just sat idle. So it's going to take uh, one more trip um, backs and forwards. That's absolutely fine. Can really do that. Do have some ships already waiting over here to do so. Um, so let's load these up with as much as we can over here. Uh, no need to worry about adding us up. We've got so much in the stockpile there, but that will do really for engineering if we just get three over there like that. And these can come straight on over. And I shall come back to you in just a second. 
And there we go, the engineering has found its way to Guadalcanal. We did actually have enough fuel on Melissa to bring that up to a total of 900 fuel there. So let's upgrade that. Let's double check we haven't missed anything uh, for the victory screen. Build a rank five airfield on Guadalcanal, absolutely done that. Taking Guadalcanal, Florida Islands, Melissa, absolutely. And we've maintained control of Port Moresby and Milne Bay. So we might just need to wait around now um, for the victory screen. Uh, for the next day to pass over. Let's just take a quick look. Um, with every base under our control, we're taking 187 total command points per week. Uh, we have lost a Summers, a Benham, a C3, another Summers and three Fletchers in total. In our dockyard currently stands a Benham, New Mexico, fl two Fletchers, an Atlanta, a New Orleans, a County, the Pennsylvania, and the Kearsarge. Um, not all of these are necessary to go into the dockyard, but it's absolutely that much safer to do so. Um, that's just amazing, really. Enemy losses we'll go through in just a second. Uh, but first, we'll see if anything else pops up. There we go, a lovely, lovely victory scream. Not going to read through that, just need to continue. And we're gonna look through the enemy losses. Very, very slowly. <laughs> so we're on 117 total days. It's now the 30th of November, 1942. Um, and yeah, just the enemy total losses is absolutely huge. Um, took quite a while for us to actually sink anything major, um, which is yeah, a bit of a shame, a bit of a shame, but once we started, we just could not stop. Firstly, starting with um, a lot of their Tayos, all of their Tayos, and a lot of the other um, fleet escort carriers. And then we got a couple smaller battleships, a lot of their um, submarines here and there, and then a bit of a gap by the looks of it. Seems to have paused on me there. And just keep going with so many destroyers and such until we got the Heezen finally um, as our 100th total kill, which uh, really made us our economy boom then. Absolutely amazing there. Which really helped us uh, just boom Guadalcanal right at the end. But then. Had a bit of a farce, well, farce, a, um, <laughs> a bit of a famine um, where we've got basically nothing coming out for ages um, trying to uh, compete with us. Just loads and loads of destroyer escorts, which has been the name of the game for the last uh, few episodes there. And then we saw the tie hole on the 22nd of October there. That's just over a month of in game time since we did that. Then we wiped out all of their light cruisers. And only recently have we started seeing the Ryuzhou, Mogamis, and of course, the Mighty One. Just come down to that. There we go, the Mighty One on the 24th of November. For a total of 304 enemy ships sunk and 2 million tons sunk as well, as well as 948 total enemy aircraft downed. Uh, bearing in mind that's also with Invincible Zeros <laughs> for most of this playthrough, um, which has been a bit of a worry, but that's absolutely fine. Again, our loss is not great, and uh, the dockyard rather full. So, uh, a costly battle at the end there, but you know what? Spicy, we did finally get the Yamato, we did finally get that much coveted spicy surface engagement. So on that bombshell, I think we're going to leave the series there. We have to. Next will be coming a IJN Pacific mod uh, Let's Play. No particular aim in mind other than just a victory screen with that. I think I've got a very nice uh, starting strategy down there. And I shall see you with that as per the usual timetable there. Um, I do also have a, another um, couple videos in the works. 
uh, with War on the Sea. So I'm wondering how well those will be received as I don't think, to my knowledge, this has been put to video formats before for War on the Sea. So hopefully that should be a first. Well, thank you very much for sticking with me guys. Really much, well very, very much enjoyed this campaign. I hope you have too. Thank you very much for sticking with me and I hope to see you in the future. I've been the Edify Gamer and I hope all of your nights and days are auspicious. Goodbye.